Hello, welcome to Head Squeeze. I'm Rob Bell, and in this live experiment, we're asking the question, how does light bend? And why are you dependent on it right here, right now? I appreciate that's quite a lot to take in within the first 10 seconds of this video. So we're gonna break it down into three separate demonstrations. For the first demo, you're going to need an empty large plastic bottle, a drill, some water, and preferably a laser pen. Right, at home, I'd recommend you do this over the sink. Uh, we're gonna get water flowing, so I'm gonna use a kind of makeshift sink. Firstly, what I want to do is uh, put a hole near the bottom of my plastic bottle. Gaffer tape goes over the hole for now, and I'm gonna fill our bottle up with water. So if I just point my laser beam through the, through the bottle of water here, it goes straight through and you can see it on my hand on the other side there. Okay, so that's light again, traveling in a straight line. But let's make light bend. Oh God, there it goes. Okay, now I'm gonna get the laser beam and I'm gonna try and get it going straight through the water here. There we go. You can see that instead of the light going straight on as you'd expect it to, it's actually curving along the stream of the water. It's bending down, we're bending light. You see the laser beam, really strong, following the path of the water as it bends down. Really simple and cool trick you can impress all your friends with. There you go, light bending. Who'd have thought? If you like what you've seen there, tell us. Click the like button down below. For the second demonstration, really simple. All you're gonna need is a big glass bowl of water and a spoon. All I'm gonna do is put the spoon into my bowl of water. When I look into the bowl of water from the top, I can see there's a spoon in it. What's nothing surprising about that? I'm gonna put the bowl with the spoon on it and the water at the edge of the table there. And if I come round and look at it from here, now I'm going beneath the surface of the table and I'm looking up through the side of the bowl into the surface of the water. I shouldn't be able to see the spoon because the table's in the way, but I can see the spoon, it's there, I can see it. But I can't see the spoon, I can see a reflection of the spoon. And the reason it's I can see the reflection is because when I look at it from that certain angle, the surface of the water acts like a mirror and the light that's reflecting off the spoon reflects off that mirror surface, the underside of the surface of the water and down to my eye. But how does it do that? On to demo number three, and this will clarify everything. What we're going to need is a laser pen, a clear glass bottle, some liquid disinfectant, some incense sticks, and something to light those incense sticks with. Right, for this, we need our empty bottle here. Empty glass bottle, and in that, we're gonna just put a little bit of water. Into that, we're gonna add a very little bit of our liquid antiseptic here. Now the reason we've put that in is to make the water go cloudy. And what we also wanna do is get some smoke. We wanna fill the, the rest of the bottle with some smoke. Careful with all this. And we've got some smoke, so shove that down in there. Just holding that over there for a little while. We're gonna fill the rest of that bottle up with smoke. That's really filling up, nice. Got my lid ready, out with the incense sticks, put the top back on and get rid of these. Right, so what we're gonna do is shine, take our laser beam again, and we're gonna shine that through our clouded water and our smoke. Now, if I just shine it up through the bottom there, you can see that the laser beam goes straight up through the water, it goes straight through the water surface and up into the smoke, lovely, as you'd expect. But if I come from the side and I shine the laser from the side, you can see that some of the light continues off up into the smoke, but some of it reflects back down into the water. Now, if I move my hand with the laser, so I make the angle smaller and smaller and smaller that that beam comes into contact with the surface of the water, it gets a point where none of the laser beam comes out of the water and into the smoke and all of it is reflected back down into the water. That angle is called the critical angle and the phenomena of it reflecting completely back off the surface of the water is called total internal reflection. And it's total internal reflection which meant that we could see the spoon in the surface of the water when we looked at it from the right angle coming up from the bottom and it's total internal reflection 
that means that the light, when we shone it through the water stream earlier, would bend with the water stream. Now I said at the very start of this live experiment that you are dependent right now on the fact that we can get light to bend. What do I mean by that? Well, modern telecommunications technology uses things called optical fibers. They're really thin strands of glass that they send light beams through. This is a really effective way to send large amounts of data and technology over really long distances, having it bounce all the way along those strands from one point to another. In telecommunications, they're also used for landlines or your telephone, and most importantly for you watching this now, the internet. You wouldn't be able to be watching this without optical fibers and total internal reflection. Just think about that next time you check your emails or hear about the next live experiment here on Headsqueeze.